What up folks, it's Alex here and welcome to 10 Minute Friday. Bit of longer video this week because we're going to be taking a look at the Alex Audio Butler audio plugin that's available now for DaVinci Resolve. I've been using this plugin for a couple of weeks. I really like it. It's really quick, easy and intuitive to use and it's really good at doing exactly what it's designed to do. And what is it designed to do? Well, it's just there to make your life easier and save you time. It does, th it does three things. The first thing is auto volume leveling. So with a few clicks of a button, you can make sure that all of your main audio has a consistent volume throughout. You don't need to mess around doing any manual leveling or changing your volume of things. A few clicks and it'll just automatically set that volume to be consistent. The second thing is automatic audio ducking. So hopefully you can hear that background music that's playing in the background now, but it's nice and quiet so it's not interrupting me talking. If I was to stop talking and take a bit of a pause, you can hear the music gets a little bit louder, but then as soon as I start talking again, the volume automatically decreases so that you can hear my voice clearly. And then the third function is to set the compression and the volume of your master setting consistently for every single project. That means that all of your projects that you generate out of DaVinci Resolve will have the same volume, the same level of compression, so they should all be consistent to one another, which is really, really handy if you're uploading videos to YouTube, for example. Now, the guys did send me a license for free to evaluate, but all of these opinions are my own. I'm under no stipulation to say anything positive at all. I just wanted to make this video to give you a live demonstration so I can show you how it works, and then you can make your mind up to see whether it will be worth it or not for you. Right, with all that out of the way, let's open DaVinci Resolve and take a look, shall we? So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the Edit tab. Now I've already installed Alex Audio Butler. I'm not gonna show you the installation. It's dead easy. You just run a standard installer, then open DaVinci Resolve and it's there, ready to go. So I don't need to talk you through that. Now, what I have done is set up a really simple timeline. I've got my video track one here, and then I've set up three audio tracks. I've got one for voice, one for sound effects, and then one for music. Now that's the best way to work when you're using the Alex Audio Butler and that will all make sense as to why in a moment. Now to actually apply the effects, you can either do that from within the Edit tab or the Fairlight tab. I like to stick within the Edit tab as much as I can, it just makes life easier. So we're gonna to stick to there for now. I'm gonna open up the Effects Library. I'm gonna expand the Toolbox. I'm gonna to go to Audio Effects, VST Effects, and within there we can see the four Alex Audio Butler plugins. We've got master, music, sound effects, and voice. Now they obviously all tally to the different tracks that we've got. So we're gonna start off with Alex Voice Audio Butler. Now before we do, I'm just gonna hit play on a section here, and you can hear the audio as it is by default. I've made no changes at all, and I've included one bit where I vary the sound of my voice a little bit. So let's just hit play about here. So with all that out of the way, let's open up DaVinci Resolve, and I'll give you a quick demonstration and show you how it works. So if I talk a little bit quieter now, and then go a little bit louder, hopefully the Alex Audio Butler is actually leveling this out so it sounds pretty much the same volume. So that's as it is straight off the bat without any plugins. So we're just gonna grab the Alex Audio Butler now, and we're gonna drag that onto my voice track, and then this pop-up is gonna appear. So we've got a couple of options for the voice track. We've got auto volume, and then we've got compression. Now, if I hover the mouse over any of these buttons, it gives me a brief description. So we can choose here between constant source and varying sources. So constant source is if you've been using the same microphone throughout, so maybe it's just a podcast or talking to camera, that sort of thing. Varying sources is if you've been moving around using different microphones, think of a vlog, you've moved from your office to outside, that sort of thing. I'm gonna leave this as varying sources. And then we've got compression, we've got natural, which is a very light compression. General, which is a subtle compression, increases illegibility and consistency for all sources. A small loudness boost without sounding artificial. And then we've got max, will be very loud, but can sound harsh. So I'm gonna leave that as general. Once we're done, we can just close the box. And now if we hit play at the exact same space, open up DaVinci Resolve, and I'll give you a quick demonstration and show you how it works. So if I talk a little bit quieter now, and then go a little bit louder, Hopefully, the Alex Audio Butler is actually leveling this out so it sounds pretty much the same volume. So let's just give you another demonstration of that last bit. We'll turn that Alex Audio Butler off again and we'll listen to this section. So if I talk a little bit quieter now and then go a little bit louder, hopefully, 
the Alex Audio Butler is actually leveling this out. So, so if I talk a little bit quieter now and then go a little bit louder, hopefully the Alex Audio Butler is actually leveling this out. So it sounds. So as you can see, it's doing a really nice job of just leveling all the audio, bringing it to the same level. So then you don't need to mess around with your levels throughout your video. That's it, done. Drop the voice track on and then you're ready to go. Next up, we've got music. So I'm just gonna grab a music track and I'm gonna put that onto my music track down here. And then again, without applying anything, we're just gonna hit play. Pretty much the same volume. We'll have to wait and see, I suppose. And as you can hear, the music is far too loud. It's completely drowning out all of my voice track. So what we'd usually have to do is lower the volume of the music. And then if we wanted to, we could mess with ducking so that it gets quieter when I'm talking and ramps back up when there's an empty space, that sort of thing. With the butt-led plugin, all we need to do is grab Alex Music. We're gonna drag that onto the music track. And then we get a very similar pop-up here. We've got the target volume, so we can have it background music, soft, normal, loud, loudest. We're gonna keep it as loud. And then we've got auto ducking, subtle, medium, and contrasting. Now just for this demonstration, I'm gonna to go to contrasting so you can see the effect in full. So we've got contrasting, and then we can close that box. And if we just come back a little bit and we'll hit play. The audio butler is actually leveling this out, so it sounds pretty much the same for you. So we're playing the music now, but it's so quiet because I'm talking, you can barely hear it, it's just background noise because the Alex audio butler is ducking it out of the way. Let's keep playing. We'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Now also, if I stop talking for a second, you should hear the music start to kick in. and out when I start talking. And as you can hear, exactly as I'm saying, the music is really quiet when I'm talking, and as soon as there's an empty space, it ramps up to the level I've set, and then quiets down again when I start talking. Dead quick, dead simple, that was all real time. You're good to go. You can have your background music. If you want to adjust the volume, we can just click on the audio track, open up the inspector. You can see your Alex Music Audio Butler is here. We can click on this little icon to get our pop-up back up and then we can change the ducking levels if we want to and the music level. So let's say that music's not actually loud enough when I'm not talking. I'm going to change it to loudest and we'll close that box and then if we just hit play again we'll go about here when there's no talking. You should hear the music start to kick in. And job done. Now you can do the exact same thing for sound effects. So if I grab sound effects and we'll put that on there, it works in exactly the same way. You've got target volume and then you've got ducking if you want your sound effects to come down when you start talking. And then the last one is the master. Now you can't actually do master volume from in here. You have to jump into Fairlight. So let's just hop into Fairlight. And to apply the plugins in here, it's dead easy again. We're just gonna come over to the mixer on the right hand side. We've got M, which is our master. We're gonna click on this little plus. We're gonna come down to uncategorized and then we're gonna select Alex Master Audio Butler. What we're doing here is we're choosing the loudness of the project overall. So everything has been leveled to be the same volume. With the master, you can choose what that overall volume is. So first up, we've got the compression. We've got general light compression, creates a cohesive mix. We've got boost, which will bring the loud and soft parts closer together, increasing total loudness. And then we've got the max, which is full compression for maximum loudness. I'm gonna leave that as general. And then you've got the export target. You've got online, perfect volume for all web platforms, YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, etc. You've got broadcast, and then you've also got archive. So we're gonna leave that as online, and we can close that, and that's it. And then I'll just hop back into the edit tab. The only last thing I like to do is to grab a little bit of noise reduction. I put that onto my voice channel and I'll just set that accordingly. I just use reset noise profile and auto speech mode and that will do me for now. Because when the auto leveling works, it can raise the volume. You do get a little bit of hiss or crackle. So you can just apply that noise reduction to get rid of that and then you should have some really nice sounding audio that's all automatically leveled. It's ready, it's good to go.
And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful to you. I really enjoyed using this plugin. It's really handy. I don't have the best ear for audio. I don't always set my volumes to be consistent. So this is a great addition. Just makes life way easier and you don't need to spend loads of time messing with levels and volume and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to continue using it and I can recommend it if you struggle with audio as well. As I say, it doesn't do anything you couldn't do yourself, but it will save you a whole bunch of time. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Any comments or feedback, pop them down below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this content, you wanna see a bit more, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching, folks. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. Bye.